Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to make a top-down shooter uh, zombie survivor game. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to have our player, and our player is going to need to uh, be created. Okay, so I'm not going to add in uh, an image that I've already made. I'm going to create the image of my player, and he's just going to be um, a circle. And so in order to um, access our image, we need to use a method that would be the get image method, and then we are going to need to we're going to need to draw the circle, but first um, Java needs to know what color you want the circle to be because we do want it to be an actual color. We don't want it to be transparent. Um, and so we're going to get player, or excuse me, get image dot set our color. We could create a new color, but also pick a color that they might already have. So color dot yellow just to save some time. So now we're going to get our image and we're going to draw our oval. So we can do get image and then we can look and there's a fill fill oval here which is essentially a circle but we can also make it an oval if we'd like um, and it needs four integer values the x and y that where it starts so the upper left corner of the oval all the way to the bottom right so the size of that. Okay and if I wanted to make this zero zero is normally where you start in the upper left corner of the circle and 50 50. Now this is a great start, but this isn't exactly what all we need because we need the size um, that we're going to have our player object uh, be. And so our, our constructor needs to describe, um, we're going to create a new green foot image. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create a transparent size for our image. So we're going to set our image to a new green foot image that we're going to create and um, our new green foot image API so our green foot image API up here says that we can use um, green foot image to put in another green foot image within the green foot image we can also use green foot image and create a width and a height and this creates an empty transparent image and that's what we want to do because we'll fill that that transparent image up but that's what we want to do. So a width and a height there for our new green foot image. Um, so our width can be 50 and our height can be 50. Okay, and then we can get our image and set color because if we didn't have this in there and we added in our player, we could see a little sliver of yellow right there, but that's not that's not what we want. We want to be able to see the whole thing, so we need to give it a transparent image size. It was trying to fill it inside the green foot that we created. Must have forgot a parenthesis here. Yep. Okay. All right. So now we have our player, um, and, and we can add to them as we go a little bit. And uh, but for now, that's all we're gonna have. And so we have our player. And let's have our background. Um, we can get background dot fill color dot. We got to set back set color, then get background dot fill. Okay, so now we have our background. Let's go ahead and add a new player in there as well. Add object, new player, and we'll put them at get width divided by two, get height right in the middle. Okay. All right, now we have our player. So we're gonna to try to have our player and our weapon be connected to each other. So we're gonna increase the width of our transparent image to 70. We are going to get image dot set color color dot black and then get image dot fill rectangle and in this location our x value needs to be 50 because we want it to start on the far right when the oval is done being created. So if our zero zero is in the upper left corner, 
we create our circle at zero zero and all the way down to 50 and but we want our weapon to be right on the outskirts of it so we're going to start it at 50 um, and that'll leave it we'll make it 20 size so that'll fill the rest of the transparent image and then our y value it needs to be right in the middle to start um, and then we're going to go all the way out to 70 and all the way and our player is height of 10 because that's the difference between 20 and 10 and a width of 50 and now if I rotate my player so if I go into my player and I do actually we're just going to do a turn towards and we're going to turn towards our mouse and so we need to do green foot dot and get the mouse info and so there's a get mouse info and we can get the x value so once we get mouse info we can do dot get x of the mouse info and then green foot dot get mouse info dot get y of the mouse and that will turn towards the location unless you are not on the screen. So we need to have an if statement if greenfoot dot get mouse info does not equal nothing, meaning we have our mouse on the screen. And if we have our mouse on the screen, we're gonna turn towards it. That's the only time we will causing it to not have an error and we are whew, looking pretty good looking pretty good okay so now we know which way we're facing um, and once we start clicking in we can start fighting things off uh, we also will want to we'll still have a weapon in here we're not going to need to have uh, draw the weapon just yet but we're going to need to be able to move around the screen so we'll just do WASD um, and do our simple move. It is key down, isn't it? Is key down. W. I will copy. Um, what are we gonna do? We're gonna set our location um, to get X. And W is up, so comma get Y. And up would be minusing our speed. And we can set our speed equals three to start off. So we're going fairly slow. And then okay. Now we should be able to turn around the screen and move. Looking good. Okay. Um, now we are going to need to increase the size of the world just a tad. So I'm just going to go up seven and up to six. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay. Excellent. So um, now we want to, if we're clicking in, we want to fire our projectiles. Okay, um, so we are going to need to create a projectile class similar to before. We're going to need to create a constructor and we're going to design our projectiles um, on our own here. So we can do set image like we've done before a new green foot image and the size hmm it's gonna be wider once again than it is tall um, so we're gonna be a, a 10 pixels tall and two pixels wide we can change that around if we need to we can get image um, dot set color um, color dot black we can get image dot fill rectangle and we are going to 
fill it starting at zero comma zero. We're gonna go 10 width to two height, fill the whole image. And this needs another parentheses. Inside of our player, that's the location we're gonna want our projectiles to show up. And so when we click in, the player is what's really gonna initialize because that's where the location of the projectile is. So we'll click in and the projectile will get added in um, near the player, okay? And so um, we need to first public void turn around, do some house cleaning here. Um, just so you guys really know where it's at and can, can explain and look back and know Okay, this is how we're turning. Um, I'm gonna put this in our own method, as well as void move around. And then we can do turn around every now and then. Okay, <laughs> move around, turn around. All right, and then now we want to public void fire projectile. If greenfoot dot, I believe it's is clicked, is clicked, I think is what we're looking at. So if it's pushed down, if the mouse has been released, mm, no, pressed. I think the mouse has been pressed. Yeah, that's what we want. If mouse pressed null, so on, that means on nothing or anything is what it really means. Um, we are going to get world dot add, and we're gonna have to change this, but new projectile um, at our x value, y value. Okay, um, we need to make sure that's in the act method. Fire projectile. And we got our projectiles, so we need to make sure our projectiles move. Okay, so our projectiles need to first of all be facing the way our player is facing when they get added into the world. They're obviously all just moving as if their rotation was zero. And so um, when we are adding our objects in, we need to be creating a new projectile each time we click the mouse. And so Inside of this method, we're going to create a projectile. So projectile um, uh, equals new projectile. So this way, we have a reference for each specific projectile. So essentially, we, we make a new projectile right before we add, add it in. Um, that way, we can reference. We are referencing a specific projectile, not just all of them. Projectile dot set rotation as we're adding it into our rotation okay so now we have them firing all over the place okay so that'll conclude part one of the zombie survivor um, now you can using the keyboard you can move around the screen and you can fire projectiles in different areas and Next, we'll destroy um, these projectiles. We'll have them come all the way out the gun instead of just kind of in the middle of your body. Um, we'll have zombies start, start getting added in, and then we'll, we'll keep going from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, until next time, this was Mr. Crow's programming course.